What's up guys? Welcome back to Super Mario World Advance. So it's been a while since I've uploaded. So I thought I'd just play a random game. So I thought, why don't I just play some Mario Advance? After all, my YouTube channel is called The Mario Gamer. And I don't think I posted a single Mario video. But yeah, Mario Advance is a good game though. So I thought, why don't I just play some? This is just a little bit. So I don't, know, I don't know if I'll make it a series, but eh, just I'll just call this like random game uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, depends what day this CDC is. But yeah, this game's awesome. Of course, I know just like many other people, this is part of your childhood, right? I played this game way back then on the Game Boy Advance. So yeah, I used to be obsessed with Game Boy Advances. When I was a kid, I used to have like I had a silver one. The Game Boy Band SP, but it broke, unfortunately. So throughout the years, now that I'm older, of course uh, I'm able to buy new ones now. So yeah, I have a, I, have ju I just have a huge collection of Game Boys. So currently, the one I use the most is a, uh, I have a blue Game Boy Advance SP, professionally refurbished. Cost 40 bucks. It was a pretty good deal. So I remember back then, like actually, I played the original Mario Bros. 2. Well, not the original, the original in America. I played that one first. So I was like, I was actually confused. I When I jumped on the enemies, they didn't die. Then I realized, oh, you can pick them up. And I just killed that guy, so I can't get the one up. Buy one up. So yeah, at first I was confused. I was like, why, why can't I jump on them? But obviously you can pick them up. That's the mechanic from uh, original Doki Doki Panic. Got this potion right here. So if we get these coins at the end of the level, we can have a slot machine. And if we win the slot machine, we can get extra lives. And plus we can get that mushroom too. Getting the mushroom just gives you an extra hit point. So I believe in most levels, you can have a max of five. Right here's another one in this pipe. Pipe thing. There we go. So which guy I get? I believe I think it's on that cloud right there actually. And it is. So you gotta be careful. If you fall down right here, then you actually die. So I don't want that to happen. Another thing I like about Mario Advance is the the power jump. This one. Just hold down, you can power jump. Oh, I switched it up. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I did not oh sorry for that. But I did not see that guy. Okay, let's get Luigi a try. So Luigi for sure is the highest jumper in the game. Because he's Luigi. But his power and speed are... They're just average, 3 stars. But his jump is incredible. Check this out. Right here. Pretty good jump. Peach is the second best jumper due to your floating ability. So Toad is, has the best stats all around, except for jump. Toad is strong, fast, but he just can't jump very high. But having super strong, like super strength in this game, is pretty good. You can pick up vegetables. Especially the big ones, just super fast with them. And if you didn't know, this is also the first game where Birdo appears. The gender confused enemy of Mario, Birdo. I believe, I don't remember, I think in the original, he's a boy that thinks he's a girl. It's just really confusing. But yeah, I, th I think now can canonically, Birdo's a girl. Because there was a, where would the eggs come from? I don't know, but yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Where would the eggs come from if it was a guy? I also like how at the end of every stage, uh, he's got to get eaten by this eagle guy. But yeah, stage one pretty easy. So that's for the slot machines. If you get the cherries at the beginning, it's an instant win. And wow, twenty-five one-ups. Wow. Guys, this is actually, I swear, that is the first time I've ever gotten three sevens in my life. 
Yeah, if you get cherry in the beginning, it's an instant win. That is incredible luck. I have never gotten through sevens before. Well, I guess we're not getting a game over anytime soon. Right, let's get Peach Tree. So poor Peach, she isn't very fast or strong. Her jump's okay though. But what makes her good is that she can float. And that's a very powerful ability. So over here there's two acorns, so I'm just gonna grab them too, right here. And this guy right here. When you pick up this key, this masked dude will follow you around. So when I was a kid, obviously it gave me, probably like, it scared me as a kid, but not anymore. Yeah, if you wanna stop chasing you, you just gotta throw the key. Other than that though, you can just go right here. With Peach's floating ability, you can actually, I believe, skip a lot of the stage if you float across that empty section over there. But I'll just do it legit. So we each gotta toss the bombs into this hole so we can clear the way. I, oh, I almost died there. Alright, third acorn. So I don't remember which one the which one the what's it called? The potion is in. I wanna break that block right there first though. Alright now we're good. Not that one. Oh, this is the potion for sure. Alright, I'm gonna go down right here. So if I'm too high up, I don't think the mushroom will spawn. And right there. She gotta go around? Yeah, I can't I can't make it. Okay, such a fail. I should have just blew up the bottom. That's alright. We can do we can do it without the extra heart. So this part. Got another acorn right here. Oh, already at the brittle fight. You know, I could have swear stage was a little longer. Alright, just another fight with Brittle. Should be pretty easy. Just gotta throw her eggs back at her. I believe sometimes you can pick up her bow too, but I'm not sure who can do it. And just like that, Birdo's defeated. So not too bad. I missed an acorn, but it's not a big deal. But I didn't get any coins. Alright, let's get Toad a try. Toad is super fast, super strong. Picks up plants like they're nothing. So that'll come in handy. Picking up plants super fast. Oh, I should have waited for that. Well, I don't think I don't think I got the mushroom. Actually, no, I did. Right here. Perfect. Got it. Okay. I don't, I don't think I can get a 1-up though. Not enough enemies. That was close. Another potion. Alright, here for sure we can get some coins. And... Yes, okay. I hit up by mistake. I guess we can. Yeah, sorry. I hit up by mistake. And I died. Yeah, that was such a fail. Alright, this might sound like I'm complaining, but I think Toad's a little too fast for me. I'll just go past everything I already, we already saw. Oh, I almost fell there. And there. Okay, I, I'll get some coins. Alright, this time, I won't, I won't hit up this time. I'll just grab the coins, and then leave. There we go. Okay. This is going a lot better than the first time. Ah, okay, I was tidy. I remember this stage. Yeah, I, I like this stage. So, you see those little pillars right here? These mushroom things? Right here, there's a secret power underneath the, this one. Right there. I think for this time, I'll just have that star. So I believe these are here because Toad's not a very high jumper. So you're gonna need these to go up that place. Right here. 
So let's just go on the right path here. And I believe in that pipe right there is another mushroom. Actually, no, a, a potion. And the potion will give us a mushroom. Right here. Yeah, right here. And another coin. So yeah, we got 32 one. We got 32 extra lives. I think we'll be fine. Although one thing I'm not sure about is, will, will we ever see one up mushrooms again? Because in Mario Odyssey, there are no one up mushrooms. So like when you die in Mario Odyssey, all it does is take away 10 coins. So I'm not sure how it works actually. But I really hope they don't take out much the one ups forever. Cause that's like one of the most iconic power ups ever, in my opinion. I think. Yeah, one ups. Hopefully they bring them back one day, or something. Just gotta drop down here, and I missed I missed the acorn. But, wow, landing on top of Shrek there. Alright, we're Tiny Toad. Alright, all I gotta do is not get hit. Okay, take that spot. There we go. Invincibility. Missed, missed a few acorns, but it's alright. I'm not going for 100%. So I believe this is the boss battle? Yeah, we had the first battle with Mouse here. So I believe to beat him, we just gotta throw three bombs at him. Just like this. But we gotta make sure they don't follow you. So let's wait for him to throw some more bombs. Toss him right back there. I think one more should do it. Alright, Mouse, you defeated. Okay, this time I'm gonna bet all or nothing. Can we get three sevens again? Nah, not that bad. That was like a once in a lifetime thing. I think we'll just do one more level. This time we'll be Mario. Actually? Oh, we're already at the new world. Alright, it's actually never mind. I lied. Well, I should come back. Maybe some other day we'll come back and do some more. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. But for now, this is TNG out. And have a nice day.